Do you remember the first time you laid eyes on Karen Morley? Maybe it was in front of a flickering television screen or the pages of an old magazine. Regardless of the medium, there's a good chance her presence left an indelible mark on your memory. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about this remarkable individual. Get ready to uncover random facts that will pique your curiosity and broaden your knowledge about Karen Morley. So, fasten your seatbelt as we embark on this journey of discovery. Karen Morley, a Hollywood career unraveled Karen Morley, a prominent actress in Hollywood's golden age, faced a significant turning point in her career due to her marriage to director Charles Vidor. Born on December 12, 1909, in Ottawa, Iowa, Morley had established herself as a talented actress during the 1930s. She had even caught the eye of MGM, one of the most influential studios of that era. However, Morley's career took an unexpected downturn when she married Charles Vidor, a rising star in Hollywood's directorial ranks. Their union seemed to have ruffled some feathers in the industry. It's suggested that Morley's marriage to Vidor, who was considered one of Hollywood's bright promises at the time, may have affected how the public viewed her as an ingenue. Prior to her marriage, Morley had been a sought-after actress, known for her beauty and acting prowess. She had appeared in notable films alongside top-tier actors of the time. But as her marriage to Vidor became known, her roles at MGM dwindled, and her career lost its momentum. It seemed that the industry couldn't reconcile her choice of husband with her status as one of Hollywood's leading ladies. By the late 1930s, Morley found herself relegated to smaller roles, a stark departure from her earlier prominence. While she continued to work in films, her career never fully recovered from the impact of her marriage to Charles Vidor. In hindsight, it's evident that Morley's career trajectory took a hit after her union with Charles Vidor. Hollywood's perception of her shifted, and opportunities dwindled. Despite the promising start to her career, she became an example of how personal choices and industry dynamics could reshape the fortunes of even the most talented stars. To stars, to Karen Morley, a notable figure in Hollywood's history, had a unique journey that led her to a one-time appearance in the film industry and a life marked by political beliefs. In 1953, Karen Morley starred in an independent Western film titled Born to the Saddle. This movie stands as her sole cinematic venture, as she soon took a significant turn in her life. Morley, along with her second husband, Lloyd Goh, testified before the Senate committee hearing due to their shared leftist views. Following this testimony, both Morley and Goh seemingly vanished from the public eye. While Goh made a comeback in the 1960s, Morley did not reappear in the spotlight. Late in her life, Karen Morley formed a friendship with producer Todd Baker, whose work likely crossed paths with her brief but intriguing Hollywood career. Morley's political stance was an integral part of her life. She identified as a lifelong liberal Democrat but also considered herself a communist, a belief that strongly shaped her personal and public life. In summary, Karen Morley's journey in Hollywood was brief but left a lasting impression. Her single film, Born to the Saddle, was overshadowed by her political activism and her complex relationship with communism. Her later friendship with Todd Baker added an interesting dimension to her life story. Karen Morley, originally a Hollywood starlet, saw her career take a dramatic turn about 50 years ago due to the Hollywood blacklist and McCarthyism. This unfortunate episode led her to become a staunch left-wing activist in the San Francisco area. Even in her 90 seconds, Morley remained connected to her past, appearing in a Vanity Fair photo shoot in December 1999, alongside other survivors of the blacklist. In 1954, Morley made an unsuccessful bid for the position of New York Lieutenant Governor, running as a candidate for the American Labor Party. Though her political aspirations did not come to fruition, her commitment to left-wing ideals remained undiminished. Notably, Morley had a son named Michael from her first marriage to Charles Vidor. While her personal life held its own complexities, it was her enduring activism and her resilience in the face of career setbacks that defined her legacy. Karen Morley's story serves as a poignant reminder of the impact of political ideologies on careers in Hollywood during a turbulent era in American history. Karen Morley, Hollywood's breakout star of 1931 and 1931, Hollywood witnessed the rise of Karen Morley, a talented actress who made her mark in the film industry. 
Her journey to stardom is often linked to a remarkable anecdote in Hollywood folklore. As the story goes, Morley entered the world of cinema when she auditioned with actors testing for Greta Garbo's film Inspiration. Her performance was so compelling that director Clarence Brown cast her in a significant role. This chance encounter catapulted her career in the glamorous world of movies. In the same year, Karen Morley earned the title of WAMPAS Baby Star in 1931. This prestigious recognition was awarded to promising young actresses who showed exceptional talent and potential. Morley's inclusion among the WAMPAS Baby Stars was a testament to her rising star power and the industry's belief in her acting abilities. Morley's insights into the inner workings of MGM are also worth noting. In an interview, she shared her perspective on the studio's dynamics, attributing much of MGM's success to Irving Thalberg. She regarded Thalberg as the brains of MGM, citing his childhood illness, during which he spent time in bed reading extensively. This habit of reading, she believed, shaped Thalberg's understanding of the film industry's audience. According to Morley, Thalberg recognized that many films of the time catered to women, as they often revolved around women's issues, making them a primary focus for movie agors. Karen Morley's career in Hollywood was marked by her talent, dedication, and unique insights into the industry. Her breakthrough in 1931 and her recognition as a WAMPAS baby star reflect her significance in the golden era of cinema. Additionally, her perspective on MGM sheds light on the industry's inner workings during that period. In conclusion, Karen Morley's Hollywood journey is a testament to her exceptional talent and the opportunities that arose through chance encounters. Her contributions to the film industry in the early 1930s have left an enduring legacy, making her a notable figure in Hollywood history. Karen Morley, a notable actress and political figure, had a son named Michael with her first husband, Charles Vidor. Her journey through the worlds of Hollywood and politics was a remarkable one, and it left an indelible mark on both spheres. In the early 1950s, Karen Morley ventured into the political arena as a prominent candidate for the American Labor Party's New York Lieutenant Governor position in 1954. Although she campaigned passionately and drew significant attention for her progressive ideas, she was ultimately unsuccessful in her bid. Nevertheless, her foray into politics showcased her dedication to social change and her willingness to use her platform for the greater good. Later in her life, Karen Morley developed a close friendship with the influential producer Todd Baker, which further solidified her presence in the entertainment industry. Their collaboration brought about some remarkable projects that not only highlighted her acting prowess, but also delved into socially relevant themes, reflecting her continued commitment to political and social causes. In retrospect, Karen Morley's career and personal life were marked by a unique combination of acting and political involvement. Her ability to seamlessly bridge these two worlds made her a noteworthy figure, inspiring others to engage in meaningful dialogues on important societal issues. Her legacy lives on through her work and her enduring impact on the realms of entertainment and politics, serving as a testament to her enduring influence. As we bid adieu to this enchanting journey through the world of Karen Morley, let us pause for a moment, dear reader, and reflect upon the indelible impressions she has left upon our hearts and the grand tapestry of entertainment. Karen Morley, a name that resonates with the grace and artistry of a bygone era, has graced the silver screen with her incomparable talents. Her performances, like precious gems, have illuminated the darkest corners of our imaginations. Whether she assumed the role of a beguiling ingenue or a formidable leading lady, Karen Morley breathed life into every character she portrayed. Now, it is your time, dear reader, to share the stage. Do you recall a particular scene that stirred your emotions or a performance that left you spellbound? Your memories and thoughts about Karen Morley are a testament to the enduring power of her craft. Let your words flow like the scenes she so brilliantly brought to life, and let us celebrate her legacy together. Karen Morley's impact on entertainment is immeasurable, an eternal muse to those who appreciate the magic of cinema. We extend our heartfelt appreciation for your time and interest in honoring this remarkable artist. May her memory continue to shine brightly in our hearts, and may her artistry inspire generations to come. Thank you for being part of this tribute, 